Hey guys, welcome back to Tales of the Abyss. In the last part, Natalia just learned for herself that Largo was her father, and we just went about saying that we need to go and stop the planet storm next, and so we need to head to Yulia City. But before that, after the whole scene with Natalia and Largo, you can talk to Ramdas and do this. Young Master, this is truly a great honor. Huh, did something happen? I am so proud. Please hear the details from His Grace. What's this about? Beats me. Luke, rejoice! You've been named. You're to be named the Light of Landfaldir. My, that's wonderful. That's a great honor, Luke. Congratulations, Luke. Is that something really special? Oh yeah, you wouldn't have had any way to know about it. The Light of Landfaldir is our nation's highest honor. My brother is awarding you this distinction to acknowledge your great achievement in neutralizing the miasma. No, we didn't neutralize. We destroyed it. I think you should be happy, Luke. This sort of thing is the only way in which nations can show their thanks. Also, though you have not yet officially entered court society, His Majesty will be specially granting you noble rank. Once the world is settled down, you will have to make... We'll have to make you... Wait, we'll have... Ah, whatever. Okay, but I'm a replica. Are you still saying things like that? You're a member of House Fabra. I'm sure His Majesty will also grant... Okay. Yeah, yeah, we get it. He's gonna be a noble. Too much text for that simple thing. But whatever. This thing is tight. That's what. Yeah, whatever. That's what she said. Whoa, Luke looks like a prince. <laughs> well, that's not far from the truth, after all. A medal, huh? I don't really set out to save the world or anything. Should I really be getting this? I don't see why not. I think you've worked hard, Luke. Unless you feel any strong objection, go ahead and take it. It's not something you'll regret having. Jade is right. I think Father wants to apologize to you. He sent you to die not just once, but twice. Okay. In case you're wondering about that second time, they probably mean Xeriuth. But anyway. Alright, so we're getting a big old ceremony. Uh, this is taking way too long for just this one thing. We can now present Luke, eldest son. Alright, Land of Einvaldir. Okay, Noble Kamoska, Landvaldir. Good for me. I'm a noble now. Luke, you've done well. Thank you. Thank you. That's it. Just, you've done well. Thanks a lot. The kingdom, okay. Viscount. Congratulations, Viscount Fabra. Hee hee, congratulations, Viscount Fabra. Thank you. Okay, I don't care. We got rid of the miasma. We're a hero. Yeah, we got the Viscount title. Costume title. And yeah, we get that little black silver thingy. Where is it? Uh, Viscount. Here we go. All right. I'll wear this one for a little bit, and then I'll go back to Clovis, or maybe Berserker, because those are, like, my two favorite titles. At least for Luke. Anyway, uh, next up is Belkind, so I'll see you guys there. Okay, here we are in Belkind. Just, you want to go ahead and head to the research center, and come up this way. I really hope it's this way. I checked the other door, and it wasn't there, so... Yep, there we go. Is something wrong? Dr. Balfour, perfect timing. I was just organizing the chemicals here, but I lost the paper with the chemical names written on it. Hey, you, I have something I want to investigate. Ah! Oh, what is that? What was that smoke? You inhaled it, you inhaled it, didn't you? This is terrible. Terrible? What's terrible? What the hell is that smoke? I know part of it was phonamine powder, but I don't know what the other chemical was. That means I don't know whether it was harmless or toxic, either. Wait a minute, what does that mean? Is it just my imagination? It feels like my chest is starting to hurt. Well, geez, that's a fast-acting friggin' thing. My pulse is quickening. There's definitely a reaction occurring. occurring. This is bad. Uh, I'm sorry, I never imagined the door would open like that. Are you saying it's my fault? Yes, it is your fault, Ash. You're the one that did it. Who cares whose fault it is? Jade, what are we going to do? I'm afraid I don't have an answer for you. Without determining the chemical, what the chemical was, there's nothing we can do. The chemical was entirely vaporized. Now let's have a doctor examine the symptoms. I believe Shu was here before. R right, I'll inform everyone what happened. About what happened, whatever. Was it alright to send him? I doubted something that would be contagious. I'm sure it'll be fine. Right now, we need to determine what that chemical was. In the worst case scenario, everyone in this facility could die. Good gosh, man. Just from that one room? What are they... <laughs> they got, like, arsenic in powder form. Hey, the doctor's not here. Where the heck did he go at a time like this? I'm feeling kind of tired. I think I'm going to throw up. 
I feel faint. Yeah, and, uh, oh, wow, I expected Tyr to say something about something being cute, but whatever. Mm, this is a problem. I didn't actually inha I actually didn't inhale much myself. Hey, Four Eyes, can't you do something in place of the doctor? Me? I heard from Dis that you studied as a doctor. Ah, well, to some degree. I specialize in autopsies, though. Oh, whoopee. Whatever, a coroner is still a doctor. Do something. <laughs> All right, then I'll need one of you to become a test subject. Who will perform that role? Uh... How about Guy? You always make him explain things. Let's let him be the one. I'll do it. Spoken like a true servant? Well, after you, I'm the oldest one here after all. Well then, let's begin the examination. Okay, so... Oh, there's the new costume we get. A cursory examination showed no noticeable symptoms, so I conducted a blood test, a phonon test, and a sonograph. What is with Guy? That's his pose when he's leaning against the wall. Can you see it? I think. Like, tilt your head to the side. I think that's the same pose he uses when he's against the walls. That's pretty funny. He's so relaxed, even though he could die. That's Guy for you. I have a good idea what the chemical was mixed in with the phonamine. Experimental antidote. May I ask you to try it? Ah! Um, okay, so he's just screaming before he does it. Okay. Oh no, there's no pulse! Jade! Oh dear, I must have administered too much. It was a costly sacrifice, but this makes for useful data. Jade, you bastard! And now we've learned the appropriate volume of antidote. How can you say that? Ah! And then he's back up. It was a fairly strong mixture, so if too much is administered, a phonon rejection reaction may cause a temporary death-like state was what I was going to explain, but you drank it before I could. <laughs> wow. Thanks to Dr. Balfour's antidote, no one was hurt. Except for Jade's, I mean, um, except for Guy's pride. I believe the chemical mixed in with the uh, phonemy was atomic ether acid. The resultant smoke, okay, blah, blah, blah. I don't care about the whatever. Okay, go away, Ash. No one likes you. All right, we got the Dr. Mambo title. I have no idea why it's called Dr. Mambo. Oh, shoot, it's like, what the frick is going on in here? Oh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and put it on Jade. That's at least better than... Uh, new title. Why not? Uh, Dr. Mambo. The glasses, the grin. You are ready to perform an experiment in the name of medicine. I love that. The little captions at the bottom of uh, titles. I love those. Anyway, now that we're done with that, I'm going to go ahead and head to Yulia City. Jeez, ten minutes for two side quests. Okay, here we are. Also, um, the whole 10 minutes for the side quests thing, now that I think about it, I know I'm not really up to, um, 10 minutes, like when I said that, because of any editing I might have already done. So, yeah, I just said that because I was looking at the timer and I was up to 10 minutes. So, anyway, um, next on our list, we just gotta talk to Teodoro and see what we need to do about the whole, um, shutting down the planet storm because that's some tricky business because that thing is running through the whole planet and controlling the phonon fuel planet particle memory thingies anyway what do we need to do to stop the planet storm the planet storm is controlled by a giant phonic glyph it's said that yulia used the sword of lorelei to carve the phonic glyph into the land so we'll need to do something about that phonic glyph the Sword of Lorelei gathers Seventh Phonons, and the Jewel disperses them. If Yulia gathered Seventh Phonons with the Sword of Lorelei and opened the gate, then we should be able to disperse them with the Jewel and close it. Do we even know how to use the Jewel? Let us use documents from the time to analyze the Jewel here. Thank you. Could we split up for a bit while that's being done? That's unusual coming from you, Tyr. I don't see why not. Then we'll meet back here later. Ah, cell phone? Um, yeah. <laughs> Stupid cell phone, how dare you ring in a recording and all you guys get to hear my... Well, if you actually did hear it, you get to hear my super manly, um, <laughs> ringtone. So, yeah, that's just wonderful. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and talk to everybody. I don't think we have voices here. Oh. Wow. Ion managed the order in conjunction with this place. Yeah, this is like the real core of the Order of Lorelei. I'd better shape up. I've got to beat the people here. Why? It's still a secret. Anyway, 
Do you think Natalia's okay? Hmm. Hmm? You've been friends since you were kids. Go and cheer her up. Sorry about that. I thought we... I didn't remember having voices here, but okay. We got voices. That's fine by me. Okay, we just got Jade and Annis in here. Let's go ahead. Oh, and Mew. How are you feeling? Fine right now. But Tyr and Mew found out. Mew, I know. I see. So Tyr knows. Poor thing. Yeah. I feel bad for making her worry about me. You're amazingly dense, aren't you, Luke? I don't think so. Oh? Well, then perhaps you're so preoccupied with her that you haven't noticed. Or maybe it's a self-defense reflex. Oh well, it's none of my business. What are you talking about? I'm just telling you to go see Tyr. Go on. O okay. Yeah, Luke is amazingly dense. You kind of hit the nail right on the head there, Jade. Anyway, we got Guy to talk to. Come on, Guy. Hey, what? What? Oh wait, hold on. Let's see. Let's talk to him from behind. <laughs> I can't. Tear seems pretty cold, but she's actually pretty nice, huh? I can't see myself. Who are you talking to, Guy? It's like you're talking to nobody. Nah. Okay. What do you mean? You haven't really seen her at all. Sure, I have. She's always hard on me. Well, she's nice sometimes, I guess. Are you stupid? Only a child needs kindness to be blatantly obvious in order to see it. If you haven't realized it for yourself yet, go and look for her now and see what you find. Okay. Oh, get out of the way. Uh, wait, I thought I was able to walk behind him from here. Oh, well, whatever. I don't care. Anyway, we need to keep moving. We need to go and talk to Tyr now because everyone's telling us to. Because we obey orders. Because we have no... Uh... Stuff. Anyway, I... Uh, Tear, do you mind if I ask you how it felt? When you learned that Van, that your brother had this terrible plan. Hmm. It didn't sound real. Real? Yes. It felt like I was listening to a story. I didn't understand what he was talking about. I think I know what you mean. My whole mind just went blank for a moment. After that, I frantically investigated what he was trying to do. And I decided I had to stop him, no matter what. Even if it killed the both of us. How did you become so determined? Van was the only relative I had in this world. As one who shared the same blood, I felt I had to stop him. No matter how many times I asked him, he wouldn't tell me the truth. When I first confronted Van, turned my blade on him, I was like a cornered animal. I couldn't see anything at all. Tear. You shouldn't make the same choice I did, and I don't think you need to. I want to save this world, even if the planet's memory really is absolute. Yulia left behind an absolute score, yet she didn't read anything in it about replicas. I want to bet on that, on the hope that Luke represents. Yes, Luke taught us that people can change. Watching him, I put to rest the old me that thought of nothing but killing my brother. I was able to try to understand Van's real feelings. But I have a feeling I understand why Largo was supporting Van. I don't mean to say that he should be allowed to do what he's doing, but... Natalia, I don't think it's necessary to understand everything rationally. I never thought I'd hear you say something like that. I can say this only because I hold on so hard to being rational. Some answers you can only find by letting go. Tear. Thank you. I should leave Natalia to Tear for now. I'll head back to Teodoro. You know, Luke, we didn't go there to see Natalia. We went there to see Tyr. It just so happens that they were talking. <sighs> whatever, anyway. Hey, Luke is showing more of his amazingly denseness. Okay, whatever. Oh, oh I thought everybody was with us for a second because Guy's gone. That'd actually be kind of funny if they were, um, you know, with you already. But anyway, 
Go ahead and go into the conference room. Just as I thought, this jewel is inscribed with a phonic art as well. Please focus seventh phonons into it. Its dispersive power and phonic art will activate, stopping the phonic glyph. That'll close the gate, huh? Yes. I would seal it off at the absorption gate. That's where the planet storm finishes its cycle. Closing it there is the most logical choice. The absorption gate. That's where we fought Van. Tyr. If we stop the planet storm, we'll be able to approach Eldrin. It may be painful for you, but let's do our best. Right. What about you, Natalia? Are you going to be okay? I'm fine. Thank you. Hey! What about me? And me! Okay, okay. Is everybody ready? Ready! ready. Then we're off to the absorption gate. Wait, one of those responses sounded weird. Oh, details, details. There's no time, Luke. Let's go. Yes, what a way to end off a video with Jade being awesome. Okay, on that disturbingly hard, ready thing from Jade, I'm going to go ahead and end it off. In the next part, we will head off to the absorption gate to stop the planet storm. So, see you guys then.